Thank you very much, Jerry. We do have some breaking news right now from the nation's capital. We've just gotten word that Canada's finance minister, Jim Flaherty, has just resigned from his post. I'm going to walk you through a statement that was just released by his office moments ago. Now, Jim Flaherty reads, I'm grateful to Prime Minister Stephen Harper for providing me with the opportunity and responsibility to serve Canadians as their finance minister since 2006. Now, that's one of the longest serving finance ministers in Canadian history. He says that he informed Prime Minister Stephen Harper yesterday that he was resigning, for, uh, resigning from Cabinet, citing a decision to return to the private sector. Flaherty went on to say in his statement that his goal was always to get Canada Canada back on track to a balanced budget after the large deficit we agreed was necessary in budget 2009 to combat the Great Recession and protect Canadian jobs. He says there's no doubt Canada's budget will be balanced in 2015 and that Canada's fiscal position is the envy of the developed world. He says all Canadians should be proud of the country's performance. You remember, a lot of speculation has been happening over the last year or so about Finance Minister Jim Flaherty's health. People were wondering whether he was going to step down uh, ahead of the last federal budget. He stayed on, and today Flaherty is citing that his health is not reason for his uh, resignation from Cabinet. In fact, he says that he's happy and that he's on the road to a full recovery from his uh, reported skin condition. Our team in Ottawa is tracking reaction to the story right now. We've got both David Aiken and Daniel Prusilides tracing out all reaction to this. So I'll bring that to you live as soon as we have it. But for now, I'll send you back to Straight Talk with Jerry Aker. And Sarah McIntyre is here, as we keep pointing out, you used to be with the Harper government. Is this a surprise to you? Uh, not entirely. I mean, there were musings about his retirement and uh, he didn't quash those. Um, and so, you know, there was uh, some thought about that he wouldn't uh, be running in the next election. And probably after delivering that budget, he, he did an assessment. Do I want to do another four years or five years as finance minister? Or, or have I done my work? Have I, you know, done what I've set out to do, set Canada back on track towards the black? Um, and if, you know, and, and took a look at that and, and thought probably, I've I've done a lot in my career, and I'm leaving um, I'm leaving Canada back in the black, and so um, it's time to perhaps maybe kick my feet up and uh, and retire. Well, speculation about his retiring swirled around several things. There was mm -hmm. the health, and he says that's not it, that mm -hmm. he's okay, and I hope that he is, and that's yeah. a good thing. But then uh, you might remember he all of a sudden seemed to get off track with the prime minister on income splitting, and people started to say, what is he just quitting? Yeah, I mean, and because income splitting was, of course, a big uh, platform commitment in the 2011 election, um, and it was one of those commitments that was made that we, the the federal government would only implement once the uh, balance, right. the budget was balanced. So mm -hmm. we were expecting for him to be delivering that in the next budget. And of course, uh, Jim Flaherty, um, he he is uh, he, he did take his advice from his finance officials uh, quite seriously, and uh, at times would actually look at the. Uh, um, um, economics of a policy decision as opposed to the politics of the decision and I think he had been consulting with some of his advisors and the experts in that department who thought that maybe it wasn't the best policy uh, decision and so he kind of uh, signaled at that uh, right around budget time and, and obviously it was something that uh, was uh, at, at odds with what had been promised in the 2011 election platform. In your opinion has he done a good job since 2006? Absolutely. He's done a great job. I mean, look at the, the world um, um, economic crisis that we had for, um, you know, that it was prolonged basically for two or three years and, and growth. And in some uh, developed countries haven't really come out of that yet. And, and yet Canada, we, we've managed to do that. We've, they've managed to keep taxes low um, and head towards a balanced budget. So absolutely, I think he did a great job. He's got a lot of new pairs of shoes. Yeah. I He's think brought he, a lot of budgets forth. Yeah, I think seven pairs now. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, where did that start, by the way? Any idea? Oh, I the think nobody history knows. behind that? I don't know what the... Yeah. What the uh legacies behind that. So the next thing now is going to be speculation and I don't know for how long until we know who the next one is. Yeah I was just kind of going through my mind myself like who who's had the the pedigree to take over that. I mean um, you know Tony Clement has held uh, the the Treasury Board um, uh, portfolio for some time and, and he's done a, a pretty good job at that but I don't think that he'd he'd be um, keen to take on filling those shoes Jim Flaherty's shoes so um, I'm, I'm not 
quite sure who would uh, who would be uh, up and filling it. And you also have to look at this has to be someone that is going to be running in the in the 2015 election as well. So somebody that's uh, going to be committed to not just the next year as finance minister, but committed to actually running in the next general election as well. Someone who, assuming the conservatives would win again, is mm -hmm. in for a little bit more than being a placeholder. That's right. Yeah. All absolutely. Right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jerry. Okay.